Hi, Rick Sandberg here. I'm a senior applications engineer for Hawkridge Systems in our Portland, Oregon office. And in this blog, I'll cover the basics of the Trim Entities tool in sketching. The basic concept of Trim Entities is one of the fundamental concepts of all 3D modeling, which is finding intersections. It's happening behind the scenes of a surprising number of operations. And with this, it's also the case. What It, it has actually five different options under the Trim Entities tool. I'm going to cover the first two, Corner and Power Trim. So with the corner, it's finding intersections. And the trick here is that I'm going to click on pieces that I want to keep, as opposed to pieces that I want to throw away, which would not give me the desired results. You can also extend as well, find the intersection of where these, of where these pieces would intersect and trims it back. Now one of the fundamental concepts is that it can trim back a spline but it doesn't know how to extend it. So if I have a situation like this where it would have to extend out a spline, it's not going to do it. Just has no idea how to extend that spline out. There's no definition for it there. So it doesn't even try. In a situation like this notch down below, the trim corner tool isn't really going to give us the desired result again. So for that, we're really going to want to go to my favorite of the trim entities tool, the power trim. The power trim also works on the concept of finding intersections. This one is pretty versatile in how it operates. One of the basic ways is a click drag, point to white space, press the left mouse button down, and then with the mouse button down, drag across pieces you want to delete. You'll notice a ghost line and a dot. The dot is an undo. If I roll back over that dot, it undoes that trim operation. So very versatile tool and great at handling uh, operations that would normally take a lot of time. For instance, on this star, grab the trim entities tool. If I wanted to trim back all the entities except for the outside star pieces, this would take a long time with other tools or other methods. But with the trim entities tool, I can trim this back in no time at all. Again, it's finding intersections and trimming back to where those intersections are. With just a little bit of a drag, there's my star ready to extrude out into a star shape. If you don't like the drag, click drag method, you're not limited to that. It's a very versatile tool. It can also extend. So let's see the power trim tool without dragging with clicking I can click on the line I want to trim and then click on the piece I want to use to do the trimming so on the right let's do it again I want to trim this line back so I select it then I want to trim it with this ellipse so I click on that so another one is extending now without that tool and just the selection tool I could extend out this arc but you'll notice that the center of it moves and the radius of it changes because I don't have it fully defined. If I don't like that behavior, I can do a much more precise extending operation with my power trim tool. Select the entity and then just drag out to where you want it trimmed to. Select it, drag it out, you get a nice little preview, click on the entity where you want it to be extended to. Works with arcs, works with ellipses, partial ellipses, works with parabolas doesn't work with the conic tool yet but that will probably come sometime soon power trim and corner two of my favorite tools in the sketch toolbox thanks for tuning in